It's Kiss or Kill in Patrick Bryce's hilariously unhinged found footage sequel released the 24th of October 2017 certificate and director Patrick Bryce writer Patrick Bryce, Mark Duplass cast Mark Duplass, Desiree Akavian, Karen Sanitas tribute tour Netflix I am what is commonly known as a serial killer. I don't love that nomenclature. I sort of consider myself a murderer, but my numbers are such that I'm classified as a serial killer. I've killed 39 people. So says Aaron Mark Duplass within minutes of meeting Sarah Desiree Akavian, hired to film a documentary on him at his remote woodland cabin. It is a statement of intent that marks the necessary difference between this sequel and Patrick Bryce's original unfound footage psychodrama Creep 2014. Back then, charismatic oddball Aaron spent considerable time toying with his videographer buddy before finally revealing to him and to us his status as deranged pattern killer, but now the cat is already out of the bag, and for those who have not seen the original, a prologue here shows Aaron's typical mo with another targeted victim Karen Sony. With Aaron's element of surprise gone, and with the unflappable Sarah seemingly incapable of being frightened by him, Bryce forces himself to take this sequel in a new direction, which paradoxically, guarantees even more surprises for the viewer. Approaching 40, Aaron is feeling a little midlifey about the mass murder game, and is contemplating packing it in. Meanwhile Sarah, too, is losing the will to keep making episodes for her barely viewed maladating vlog encounters. Each hopes to find new inspiration in the other, and so what ought to be a horror story unfolds as a twisted romance between lonely weirdos, even as the initially skeptical Sarah slowly starts to realize what we have known all along that this video may well be her last. Still present and correct is the first film's highly effective blend of hilarity and unease rooted in Aaron's mercurial character with Duplass as riveting as ever in the role, while Sarah comes with her own set of idiosyncrasies, including a disarming openness to almost any experience in pursuit of her art. The results may just be the funniest, strangest love story ever told. Tags Creep 2, Horror, 